So we'll say, hey Jarvis, and there you go, it has started up. Hey Jarvis, please ask the viewer to subscribe to my channel. Hey there, lovely viewers. Just like a widget created me, you can create your own Jarvis by subscribing to his channel. Don't miss out on more interesting content, hit that subscribe button now. Do you know, now you can create your own Jarvis using Facebook's new multilingual and multimodal model running locally. That means no further text-to-speech or speech-to-text API call and no further breaking your bank. Hi, my name is Avijit. You are watching Note Together, where I try to simplify latest tech and innovations for your future and your business. Let's get started. Welcome back. This video is inspired from your comments where you wanted to see how to build a voice chatbot locally in your own system and also use Facebook seamless M4T model locally. And as I started searching the internet over information, I found an interesting article which had helped me build this project. So in this video, we will quickly run through the article and then take the GitHub link from the article, build the project ourselves by modifying few sections in the code so that we can run it locally even on a mediocre PC that I am running. So let's get into it. So this is the article which is written by Sebastian Gilbert and here he has clearly given outline on how you can set up a locally running voice assistant. I'll definitely share this link so you can read through the whole article. Uh, we will quickly go through this diagram and explain how this entire thing is working and which part we are exactly going to use from this project to run our own Jarvis. So basically he created three independent services, much like your home assistant like Siri, Alexa, he has created a wake word detection service. So that means when you run this service, it will wait for the wake word. Once the wake word is spelled out, the wake word detection service will actually trigger the voice assistant service. And this voice assistant service is where our Facebook seamless M40 model will be loaded. Whatever instructions that you are going to give it to it, it will record that sentence locally, convert it, and then it will call the chat service with your instructions. So you do not need to actually call any speech to text API because speech to text conversion is happening locally using Facebook seamless M40 model. Then the, once the prompt is sent to the chat service, the chat service is then going to use the LLM that could be your locally hosted large language model, or it could be OpenAI's GPT APIs or whatever that you want to use. And based on the prompt that will generate the answer pass it back to the voice assistant service as text output and then this voice assistant service will transform the text output into a speech output using a text-to-speech inference locally no api calling and then it will spell out the response to you as if you are communicating with your assistant so let's go ahead and build this service okay so at this point we will quickly take a look at the code that he has created so he created a chat service and then you have the voice assistant service code and then you have the wake word service code so three different repository three different code so what he has done in the chat service he created a python api server um, using flask module and then he has loaded this fer 7 billion alpha model and then he is just running it locally you can use this service if you want to or you can also run locally hosted large language model using olama you can actually configure the voice assistant service to call your olama rather than the chat service and make it work as well i'll show you how to do that so now we will take a look at this voice assistant service this is where the real magic happens and we are going to clone this repository make a few changes as we need and we'll run it locally um so if we take a look at the code so he is loading the service config.xml if you load service config.xml you will see the chat service url is specified here so if you are running the chat service locally that will run on 5001 port but if you are going to use olama api or light llm or if you use the open eyes gpt api you have to specify the url here this is the voice id i'll explain what this is shortly now this is your language code so this is the language in which uh, your assistant will be speaking to you now the interesting thing is meta seamless m40 large model can support 96 language for input and output and 35 language for speech output that means i think you can use other languages like french or spanish or something as well now this is the welcome message if you go to the welcome function this is actually play the message uh, of whatever welcome message is specified in the config so if you want to specify some different greeting message you can set it here in your xml and that will work um, you specify what model you want to use uh, yes we are going to use facebook seamless m40 large module uh, you can definitely use other sampling rate uh, for better output but again i don't have a beefy computer so i'll go ahead with all this de default setting um this is one of the important config this is the record time so it's basically recording kind of five seconds of your instructions and then straight away process it and this is the prompt seed so uh, i'll show you how you can modify it to be to make it become a perfect assistant but this is more of a system context that you want to set with your prompt now coming back to the code there are a couple of functions 
uh, that he has defined these are really easy to follow functions i will attach the link for this repository uh, in the link so you can go ahead and check all the functions the main one really is the play message where it selects the voice so it gets the uh, property of the voice so for example the voice id is david so it will get the voice of david you can set a female voice you can set any other voice i'll show you how to do that and make the speech output with that voice now coming back to the main method uh, this is where it's loading the model now it uses pi tts x3 module which is a text to speech engine uh, you also need a speech to text processor so speech to text processor is powered by the auto processor module and using the seamless m40 model now there is a get sentence function that's being called to do a transcription of whatever input that you are giving to this service and this is basically taking your mic input stream your sp processor which is your m40 model powered processor it's basically doing speech to text conversion and returning the transcription once the transcription is there it actually checks whether it has the gibberish prefix list like it, if it's if it is starting with these words so then it will skip processing it otherwise it will basically call the chat service here with the config and the transcriptions so the config is being loaded from here the chat service url and it will send the transcription if that is all makes sense to you we will quickly run through the wake word service and then we'll clone the repository make a few changes as we need it and then we'll run it and there you go this is the wake word service this is a very very simple service again this has an xml file which is the configuration file where you can specify what would be the wake word for example if you have an alexa you have a wake word to uh, to give instruction to alexa for siri for google everyone have wake word uh, so similarly this service you can set whatever wake word that you want to specify uh, then it has basically created a very simple GUI using Python stick inter module and when you start it that then it will actively listen to your instructions and waiting for the wake word once the listener module will hear the wake word then it will start the process and where it will actually issue this command once the wake word is triggered so if you see the command dot batch what it is doing basically is it's going to the uh, voice assistant server activating the voice assistant server and running the voice assistant dot python script that we have just shown you here we are now into our root project directory and we will go copy the chat service we are git clone chat service then we will come to our voice assistant service and then we'll clone the voice assistant service and then clone the wake word service code now i have already cloned this now in this video we are not going to focus much on the chat service our main focus will be the voice assistant service but if you have a decent pc with a very good graphics and ram and cpu please go ahead and run all these three services locally the first thing first that you have to do is to copy this voice assistant config xml dot example and make it just the voice assistant service config example right because this is the file that will be loaded when your voice assistant will start up you have to check what all voice that you have available in your own system to check that you have to open your time and language settings in windows server and then from here you want to check what, what all language pack that is installed in your local system you can go to language options and you want to see that text to speech is installed or not now if you go here here you can select the voice that you want to use for example david is only available with united states english language uh, if you want to use the david voice id here then you must install united states language input in your system now initially i only had uh, united kingdom so united kingdom english comes with george susan and hazel and that is where i i had set to hazel if you're running in other system than windows and you probably get if you are getting error that the voice id is not available you can add this login.info line on this line of code and what this will do it will actually list all the voice id that is available in your system now when you know that then you can select one of the voice id and set that here now here because i am not running the chat service code what i am doing is i am running my light llm api proxy and i am specifying that for that url here and now the other thing is the prompt seed so i have added a customized uh, prompt seed uh, you are jarvis you are a polite tongue cheek funny assistant you are created by your master named Abhijit. Uh, always answer suggest or recommend based on the query asked in short and crisp way possible now this one is really customizable you can add any system context you want there is also another thing that i had to change because i'm not using his code entirely because i'm not running the chat service locally he, what he was saying he was just sending the prompt uh, as it is to the chat service url and the chat service was configured to process it it was loading the model and everything but for my case because i am calling the light llm proxy i had to specify the model and the prompt so that is why i had to change the data dict uh, which i need to send as a payload if you see the prompt prompt is basically the prompt seed and then in the new line the actual message which is the instruction that you are giving out to this service using your voice and then the other thing uh, that you had to change is uh, transform the result that i am receiving 
from the chat service api call into a json and then i'm just fetching the actual response content from the json and returning that response and then this response will be further converted into and text to speech and the speech will be played out by the assistant i don't really want you to run it uh, every time and face issues with module import so what i have done is i have checked the code and i created a requirement.txt file uh, which will specify all the module that you really need to install before you even start the server similarly for wake word service what i have done i have copied this command.bat.example to the actual command.batch file and um, that's that will be called as part of the wake word service and in the batch file what i had to do is set the actual path where my voice assistant is running so you have to also make these changes so because you are not going to run the voice assistant python script separately you will only run the wake word service uh, and the wake word service will actually call the voice assistant service.py and again for the wake word service i created a separate requirement txt next thing what you want to do is create a separate conda environment and then i'll go to the wake word service and just install uh, the requirement um, similarly i have to go to the voice assistant and same same thing run the requirement.txt next thing is i have to start my light llm because uh, my voice assistant server is going to call the light llm if you really want to know more about it how to set up your gemini api or light llm i have a whole separate video on it i'll attach into the description so our jarvis is ready with facebook seamless m40 large model and we have also started our llm and um, that is also running with our gemini pro model now let's give it a test so at this point whatever i say it shouldn't be captured by this program because i have a weak word for this assistant so let's try the wake word hey jarvis as you can see it has now waked up now it is loading the facebook seamless model hello how can i help you what is the capital of uk london the right royal capital hey jarvis please ask the viewer to subscribe to my channel hey there lovely viewers just like a widget created me you can create your own jarvis by subscribing to his channel don't miss out on more interesting content hit that subscribe button now I really hope it all made sense to you. If not, or if you have any questions on Confusion, let me know in the comments or maybe join the Discord server community for which the link I will attach in the description. Uh, if you face any issues or have any suggestion or ideas, you could go to a Discord server, start a thread and say hi to the community. And as usual, I will bring more such interesting open source project in this channel. So please stay tuned, subscribe to the channel and take care and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.